another video and as you can see I'm in my new apartment if you see like boxes and stuff in the background it's because I'm not completely finished packing yet there's so much natural light in here I'm so I'm so happy right now I can genuinely say that and I haven't been able to say that in a really long time <laughs> but anyway um, today I'm going to show you how to do this really easy really natural no foundation everyday makeup look thank you so much Laura Mercier for sponsoring this video look how radiant my skin looks and I'm not wearing foundation but anyway, if you're interested in learning how to create this no foundation makeup look, keep on watching. So we're going to start with a tinted moisturizer. So this is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is the oil-free version. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of my channel, you know I love this product for makeup looks like this because it does exactly what the title says it does. Uh, it's a moisturizer, so it moisturizes your skin, but it's also tinted. So I really like this for natural makeup looks because it evens out your complexion, but it doesn't have very much coverage. So it doesn't look like you're wearing a full face of makeup and it also doesn't feel like you're wearing a full face of makeup because it is a moisturizer. I'm gonna show you, these are the, this is the new packaging for the oil-free tinted moisturizers. I don't know if you guys remember, but these used to be like, um, like a purple color and now they're, I used to think that they were black, but th now I'm looking at them in the sun and it looks like they're like a dark brown. But regardless, I love the new packaging. Um, it looks more sophisticated. So yeah, basically what I do is I put some on the back of my hand. Oh, I'm in the color 4C1 Almond because I have a neutral undertone and this one is more um, close to my undertone. So literally all I do is I just like, do like that. And you can apply this with your fingers because it's a moisturizer. You can apply it with the beauty blender if you want, but it's just so easy to do it with your hands. And another thing that I've noticed with this moisturizer, this tinted moisturizer, is that it does have like buildable coverage. I mean, you're not gonna get like a full coverage with this tinted moisturizer, but if you feel like you need a little bit more like color coverage in one area, you can like build it on top of each of also, I wanted to mention that one thing I'm trying to do this year is to be more comfortable with my skin because my skin has been my biggest insecurity like growing up. Um, I never really had like good skin. So one thing I'm trying to do this year is like embracing my skin more. I'm trying to like edit my photos less. I feel like I forgot, I feel like as society, we've forgotten what skin actually looks like. Um, so, you know, I have some flaws. I have this weird thing right here. It doesn't hurt. So like, I don't really know what that is. <laughs> Usually pimples, you can like feel the tenderness of it, but um, whatever, like I don't feel bad about it. Um, you know, my skin is my skin. She's healthy, I'm taking care of her. And if sometimes she wants to act up aesthetically, you know, that's on her, but at least she knows she's being taken care of. <laughs> All right, so already I look more radiant. Um, that tinted moisturizer, like, just, it makes me look moisturized and it's giving me more radiance and, like, my whole complexion is, like, pretty much one color. So that's a tinted moisturizer. Next, we're going to go in with a concealer. This is one of my holy grail concealers, if you've been watching my channel um, at all in the past year. This is the uh, Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I'm in the color 4N. Um, this is, like, perfect for my skin tone. Like this is the perfect match for my skin tone. So I'm just going to go over areas very lightly because I don't want to cover it, but I just want my complexion to be less dull looking. You know what I mean? And then I'm gonna dab over with a beauty blender. Now we're going to conceal under my eyes because I look very tired right now. And every time I conceal under my eyes, I just look more awake. So, one way to make this look natural is by doing this. So you know how sometimes when you apply concealer, you like do the V under your eyes and then you fill it in? Well, to make it look more natural, here's what we finna do. We're going to do a V, but we're not gonna fill it in. So it's literally just gonna be like the outline. And then 
we're going to take our beauty blender and then we're going to blend it out. I'm going to go side to side very lightly. All right, now we are going to set everything with a pressed setting powder. Even though this video is sponsored, I truly do believe that the Laura Mercier uh, setting powder, the translucent setting powder, is like probably the best setting powder I've ever used just because this is the only one that I've like repurchased. I've tried many from different brands and this is just um, one of the best in my opinion. I'm going to take some of this on my beauty blender if you have like visible pores or if you have oily skin or if you have both like I do, um, set, like setting powder is very necessary because not only does it kind of like blur your pores a little bit, but it also helps control the shine. And I'm only going to apply this in areas that I get really, really oily because I still want to look glowy and radiant. See, that's perfect. Like I can still look radiant, but I'm not like greasy in my T-zone. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I'm also going to take it a step further because I have oily lids. If you don't have oily lids, you can totally skip this, but I do, I'm oily all over. So I'm going to also apply this to my eyelids to help control shine there. Boom. This video is going to be a little bit longer just because I'm talking and explaining everything to you. But like when I do this in the morning, it takes like literally five to eight minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like it does not take that long at all. Honestly, I really like how it's looking right now because I still look like myself. I just look a little bit more enhanced and um, awake. I'm going to try to do a little eyebrow situation. This um, really natural makeup look would look better if you have your eyebrows done, but um, I just don't have mine done today. So, you know, what can you do? So we're gonna try to figure out a situation, okay? <laughs> I'm taking my Benefit Precisely My Brow. Usually what I do when I don't have my eyebrows done is I will start from my arch and then I will go down to the tail and then I'll connect it from the top part of my arch connect that to the tail like that. And then I will start in the front and then connect this to the arch on the bottom. And I want to use very, very light strokes because I still want this to look natural. And I don't want to fill them in too much because we're going to use another product to fill them in. I kind of just want to like define the shape right now. All right, now we're going to fill everything in with the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. You could just use this product if you're if you have like your eyebrows done, but I don't, so I needed to define them before I did anything. Um, but this is in the color Dark Brunette, and there's two sides to this. There's like a there's like a longer side and then there's a short side. Um, I'm a huge fan of the longer side just because it looks more natural and what I do is I just lightly brush upwards in the front and then I just go ahead and follow the direction that my hairs naturally grow in to kind of fill this in even more and make them look more full. We're almost there, ladies. The next thing that we're going to do is a mascara. This is, oh, I haven't filmed a beauty favorites yet. I'm gonna film a current beauty favorites, but this is definitely one of them. Uh, this is the Kevin Aquan, the volume mascara. I freaking love this mascara. It's a fiber mascara, which I know sounds scary because a lot of fiber mascaras like shed a lot, but this one does not, it stays all day and it's also waterproof which i know sounds scary again but it's so easy to remove with an oil-based cleanser i really like this it does not give me panda eyes or anything it's awesome one tip for using this mascara it can tend to be a lot when you first apply it so what i do is i just like brush the excess off on the tube on the opening of the tube Wow, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it just like is transforming my eyelashes right now. Ugh, the volume, can you see that? Wow, 
wow, on camera, it doesn't look that drastic, but in person, it's like night and day. Oh, I wanna see you. I wanna show you how long my lashes are now. Wow. Absolutely, yes, ma'am. See, I already look a little bit more put together. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't done that much to my face. The next thing we're going to do is blush. We're gonna add a little bit of color back to my face. This is the Becca Beach Tint. Love this stuff. It's in the color Watermelon. And it is a water resistant color for like your cheeks and your lips. Um, I'm not gonna use these on my lips today, but I'm gonna use it on my cheeks. So it comes in like this little tube, and then I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand, like that. It kind of works similar to like the Glossier Cloud Paints. Um, but I'm just going to dab on my ring finger, and then I'm going to dab on my skin. I, I love blush. Blush is like one of my favorite products because it just makes you look cuter. It's like very romantic looking, you know what I'm saying? And I love the pairing of this blush with this tinted moisturizer. See, I only applied a tinted moisturizer, you guys. And like, look how radiant my skin looks. Like I did not apply foundation today. And sure, you can like see some of the imperfections, but like, that's fine, you know? Like that's what skin looks like, you know? For like an everyday makeup look, we're trying to be natural every day. The next thing we're going to do, I actually already have it on my lips because it's a very moisturizing product. Like this is what I use to moisturize my lips, but it is the Bobbi Brown Extra Lip Tint in the color Bare Pink. And this product is really cool. I've thought, oh my God, I'm almost out. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram, I put this on my story so many times because I just love it. Like the stick itself, like the solid itself is clear. But once you apply it to your lips, it gives you this really nice natural pink tint of color. It gives you like this really pretty natural pink color. But yeah, that is my no foundation everyday makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much Laura Mercier for sponsoring this video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace! It's a